Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College View, a free market update. On this video, I just want to show you a message I got this morning from one of my mentorship students because I want to talk to you about the psychology around stop loss orders. Now, this student is a brand new student on my mentorship program. He sent me a message this morning. NASDAQ stopped out this morning for £750 profit. That feels really good. Putting stops in, who knew? Ha ha ha, three smiley faces. So I'm not going to name names because it, it will Alert embarrass triggered. him. But let's talk about stop loss orders and the psychology around being stopped out of a trade. Because when he started on the program, he didn't use a stop loss order. Now, if you don't know what an order is, a stop loss order, a stop loss is there to protect your trading account. Now, I'm going to put a stop loss order in when I'm swing trading the markets. As a swing trader, I place a trade today and in a few weeks time it could just I'm still in the trade. Well, I'm going to put a stop in place to protect that trading account. Now, you put a stop in place. This is the broker I'm using. You put a stop in place underneath where you go long. Now, if I was going long this market here, my stop, okay, is placed here in this ticket. Now, I place this stop with my broker and my broker then implements and puts into place that protection okay so that stop loss is there to protect my trading account but the student that was new thought that getting stopped out of trade trades was a bad thing now at the start of your trading journey it feels like it is horrible getting stopped out of a trade and i've been there i know that you're just not used to it but let me just say something. You will not have 100% winning trades, okay? It just doesn't happen. You will get stopped out of trades. Now, it's how you mentally deal with being stopped out that's going to keep you in this game for a long time. Now, it's also, which is more important, it's going to protect your trading account because you're not going to have 100% winning trades. As long as you're risking, let's say you're risking 1% risk per trade. Well, if I get stopped out of a trade, I've lost 1% of my trading account. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It doesn't mean I'm a bad trader. It just means that that particular trade with my sample size was a losing trade. Now, for this person, I think at the start of his journey, it was all about several things. Number one, ego getting stopped out of a trading i don't know why but it seems to be that men struggle at the start of their trading journey with getting stopped out more than women do now we have women on our mentorship program that struggle as well so it's a bit of a generalization but it does seem to be more of the men that don't want to admit they've been stopped out of a trade they want to talk about their winnings and their profits but being stopped out of a trade is all part of trading you are doing your job you are doing your job as a trader to close the trade down once it hits your risk parameters and your, your amount that you want to risk on that trade. You are doing the right thing. It does not mean you're a bad trader. It does not mean that you are a bad person. It just means you are protecting your trading account because we know, and we've got hundreds of examples that if you manage your risk and you protect your trading account and you make better winning trades, i.e. if you're risking 1% and you're making 2 to 5 to 3 or whatever percentage gains, then your account could grow dramatically. Okay, There's other reasons why this mentorship student, and he is such a nice guy, um, and I'm so pleased that he's starting to realise what trading is all about now, is that mistakes life gets in the way and you're busy and you forget to put the stop loss order in place so all you've got to do is just come into this section here decide where you want to place your stop now where you place your stop is all based on the the area on a chart uh, which your strategy has been tested and back tested over many many trades where you should put your stop loss okay so the strategy and the stop go hand in hand and what you're trying to do at all times is reduce risk now if the trade goes up a hundred points hundred pips then you will go back into your broker cancel this stop area here this number whatever you want to 
do and move it up to break even where you entered on that trade. Once you do that, you move your stop, which is underneath the price if you're going long, to your entry. It means you cannot lose Alert on triggered. that trade. And as traders, we all want to get our stop loss order risk free. Okay, so to our entry. Once we do that, we relax and uh, and we you know we feel less stressful. The other reason is that an unexpected move happens. So this student, I remember, he was in a gold trade. Uh, he popped out for for lunch and went off and done some stuff for the midday, and gold dropped dramatically. It was unexpected. He he didn't put his stop loss order in. Um, and he wasn't expecting a big move. When you're trading the markets, you've got to think to yourself, anything could happen at any time, especially if you go to bed at night time. Most people will go to bed at night time and have the overnight, the markets will continue to trade overnight. I know some people are on shifts, so you know, you're know you doing um, overnight, you're working nights and you're, you're bed during the day. But if you are if you are going to bed and you're being able to keep your eye on the markets, you need to put a stop loss order in because absolutely anything can happen, guys. All right, that stop there is there to protect your trading account. All right, so make sure think about it. Ego is the biggest thing. Ego getting stopped out. I don't want to be seen to getting stopped out of a trade. Uh, I remember when I first started the trading room. What was it twelve years ago? And I had a losing trade, and I remember the students in the trading room saying to me, oh, that's so unfortunately, so sorry to hear about that. I'm like, please don't feel sorry for me. I'm protecting my trading account. Still finish the day up in profit, so that's why you've got to protect your account, because if you let one get away with you and start to move, you know, two, three, four, five, six, ten percent, fifteen percent, you know, you've got a long way to come back to retrieve those trading profits, okay? So think about it. Think about, don't attach being stopped out of a trade uh, as being a bad thing, um, you know, because you're protecting your account. Think about mistakes, okay? Make sure you, you you put the stop order in place. Think about unexpected things to happen. If you're not at your screen, please put the stop loss in place. As a day trader, if I'm at my screen, I'm day trading off a five minute chart, I probably won't put a stop in. I know what my maximum loss on the trade is. I may not have time to put a stop in, but when I'm swing trading, and I'm away from my screens, there are stops in place to protect that trading account, all right? Took a while for him to uh, realize that it's all about the risk and not all about the profits necessarily, but hopefully this guy uh, has turned the corner and now we can start to move forward. What's quite interesting is that he's over the moon that he's made 750 pounds. Really what we want to do is that when he starts to get more experience in trading is that 750 pound profit is is just the same as you know losing one percent on a trading account you've got to keep that even balance emotionally otherwise um you know it can get quite stress stressful and, and and unhealthy for you all right guys hope it helps and i'll speak to you soon that's a little bit on stop outs and uh, i hope you enjoy take care bye bye now